Inquiry report on Keroda's death at Rims Hall's doctor's negligence responsible for her death. Supreme Court directs states and union territories to upload FIRs on their websites within 24 hours of registration. JCILPS demands special session of the Manipur Assembly by September 21 to pass a bill to protect the indigenous people of Manipur. Gai Kangam urges people to strengthen their commitment towards motherland and strive to do something good for the Manipur. And Nero Ka becomes the first football club from Manipur to reach the semis of the Duran Cup. Hello and welcome to Impact News and watching Primetime English News. And I'm Kishore Turner, one can tell with the top stories and latest news till this hour of the day. The Inquiry Committee probing the death of Thokchom Keroda at Rims has nailed three doctors in her death. The report of the Inquiry Committee constituted in connection with the death of Tokchom Keroda held negligence by doctors of RIMS responsible for the death of Tokchom Keroda. The Inquiry Committee said some lapses in the discharging duty were evident on the part of senior resident Dr. N. Yohen, Registrar Obstetrics and Gynecology Department, Dr. L. Trinity, senior residents of Anesthesiology Department, Dr. K. Gina. The report also said their problem was underestimation of the seriousness of the patient and lack of proper communication among the doctors, including proper handing over of the patient. It mentioned that Dr. K. Gina was non-available in the earlier part of the anesthetic cover for the examination under anesthesia, EUA in the operation theater. The five-member inquiry committee was headed by Professor T. H. Tomcha as the chairman, Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, brother-in-law of deceased, Tokchom Shurezda said they sought the details of the report from the RIMS authorities several times, but RIMS authority failed to give the report to them. However, brother-in-law of the deceased, Tokchom Subhash Chandra Falan, RTI, and received the report on September 2. Tokchom Shurez also demanded the RIMS authority to announce the action to be taken against the doctors to the people. Rims authority na matam chana check and balance taur magadi doctor singh na kamai taur imagi station thadu o garai garai sali hai bagi yengjan bagi paring ama rims ta government hospital ni lai mbata argadi masi patient kalambi abhi possibility sale i don't know all this responsibility it's under the rims authority full responsibility je mohoi na pubam thoi adu ga loina na doctor ahum su mohoi chen bia roi hujik rims ta ki thadu o ka na moi thabak tok sare moi hoi kanna tok sare hai bana madu na lotion ba yaroi warishin poro pa yaroi makhui mathang ta chapcha ba ekse lakho kadam ni manipur government ki koi directors of health and family welfare am the director of health service na makhui gi mathak ta ming yengjan biu meanwhile convener of the jsc formed against the death of the hk roda ramananda sairam cha stated that doctors and other staff who are found guilty in the case must be punished he also warned to launch an intense agitation if the RIMS authority fails to give befitting punishment to the doctors and the staff responsible for her death. Inquiry report is that Senator Hariba, Dr. Trinity Yauraga, Dr. N. Yohen, Dr. K. Jina, Hariba Makoi Umziki Matachida, RIMS authority, September 30th, Kuntra Pawagi Madunga, Koi. The Supreme Court today directed all states and union territories to upload first information reports, FIRs, on their websites within 24 hours of registration at police stations. A bench comprising Justice Deepak Mishra and Justice C. Nagapan, however, extended time up to 72 hours for uploading the FIRs for states that are located in difficult terrains where internet connectivity is poor. The Apex Court exempted the state police authorities from uploading the FIR on sensitive cases pertaining to insurgency and sexual offences against women and children. The bench also made it clear that the accused cannot take benefit before the courts of law of the fact that FIRs lodged against them have not been uploaded on the website. The direction came on the PIL filed by Youth Lawyers Association of India on the issue. 
The PIL referred to a decision of the Delhi High Court in which the city police was directed to upload FIRs on its website within 24 hours of being registered. The Apex Court agreed to the directions of the High Court with certain modifications. Now, Manipur becomes the first state in the country to implement the Methadone Maintenance Treatment MMT and the Integrated Opioid Substitution Therapy OST Center. The MMT under Integrated OST Center was launched at the Department of Psychiatry, RIMS, today. The program is initiated under the National AIDS Control Organization, NACO, Manipur AIDS Control Society, MAX, FHI 360 and RIMS. The program targets to enroll 180 clients for both OST methadone and OST buprenorphine BPN. Injecting drug users' IDUs target interventioned are partners who will support in recruiting clients needing OST. The program aims to improve the quality of life of injecting drug users by using methadone maintenance treatment. Representatives of NACO, MAX, FHI 360 and Doctors of RIMS attended the function. The dignitaries present at the event administered methadone to clients. Speaking at a function, the Secretary and Director General National AIDS Control Organization, NACO, Navreed Singh Kang, said the MMT and the OST Center has been implemented after careful and deliberated process which took two years. Trainings were also given to doctors and departments concerned on the program. Before launching this project across the country, and Manipur is uh, the state that has been chosen to start it. I think it's our recognition of the fact that Manipur has uh, had a lot to offer to the National AIDS Control Program. Some of the initial points Dr. Hiramani did mention, but I am personally aware that some of the best practices that were adopted by the Manipur AIDS Control Society many, many, many years ago have found place in the National AIDS Control Program. So I think it's entirely appropriate that we've chosen in fall to be the launch pack for this ultimately what would become a national program. A car created panic and traffic jam on RIMS campus and RIMS gate this morning. Panic grieved the people after they suspected that an auto car bearing registration number MN05A4976 parked since last night on the RIMS campus was fitted with a bomb. Bomb squad broke the windshields of the steel grey auto car but no suspicious objects were found inside it. Joint Committee on Inner Line Permit System, JCILPS, demanded the Manipur government to hold a special session of the State Assembly to pass a new bill to protect the indigenous people of the state by September 21. Speaking to media at its office at Sega Road, convener in charge B.K. Moirangcha said Manipur government must resolve all the pending issues of passing the bill, including objection by Hills Areas Committee through amicable dialogue. Moirangcha also termed the statement of the Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh in the Assembly that submission of the model draft bill by JCILPS was late as unfortunate and it clearly showed lack of sincerity on the part of the government in the ILPS issue. The model draft bill was submitted to the CM Secretary and Additional Secretary Home on August 24 after the public convention organized by JCILPS at MDU Hall. Sinai Azun Tova Taravadi, Matangi Mipamasi, Yam Koitona, Cabinet Decision Lauraga, Governor Amuk Approach to Wogi Matok Tari, Masina Takpadi, Manpurga Mena Handaki, Assembly Mipamda, Laureva, Yellow Mi Kanana Billace, Yamna Seresu in a Logi have a Takpani, Sinai Mauta, Yamna Seresu in a Logi Duna, Assembly Azun till further notice sign a heavy regatti, JCL Piesna, Taram Taram Olonga Devani, Adu Hosiki, Manpurga Mena. Miam ne yana gada ba ayat apan layroi daba yellow mi kan gada ba billama puthok na bhona bada matam miam ne sang lau duna thedok thejin tau duna layve yaroi. Convener of JCLPS Student Swing Moirang Thim Lakshman said use of force by police during the storming of the assembly by students from various colleges and university demanding implementation of ILPS in the state as unfortunate and unacceptable. He maintained that Students Wing does not take the police action lightly and will continue to fight for the rightful existence of the indigenous people of the state. Saya koi ki ya mati mukti ko na sanction libo kongsan adu bu na ya na blunt ko eba force na rakan na koi ating ba pira kan da ma pam zegi khastang hai do kan da leba koi kamti hole amda ya na phone na koi law speaker sinar kan da mui kangbu amna 
masing yang lebih mewah kan buat mana koi meeting tau betulna mana polis ki lay dua forcing atau na yang tu na lay kibah loe na istuen wingi mereka itu kita laga tak lawa pah buda makoi na tu mila singkibah adu lengak asih mukjizat sengde loe na makoi na mungkin mikhai na bagi polis ni macam na cawan satu jere hai bersih masa na tak sere. Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kingham has urged the people to strengthen their commitment towards the motherland and strive to do something for the development and welfare of Manipur. Speaking at the inauguration of Tarung Public Hydrant in Thangwebun today, Guy Kingham said the government has been giving similar focus to achieve equal growth in the valley and the hills in this century. He said the government has been working to provide drinking water in Imphal City under the Thawal Multipurpose Project. Guy Kangam asked the people to pay the water bill regularly so that they will be able to ensure of regular water supply. He said the government has been able to provide drinking water to Tarung, Nekalong, Grace Academy and Guigalong Village, which do not have water supply a few decades ago. PHED Minister Manga Waifei was among those who attended at the inauguration. <laughs> Bank, water supply, power plant, other security, at the post office house, Yauna, Mother Henda, Adubba Center, Sir, Simulay, Mercy, Valley the Power, Mother Lady. As a single labor building, I'm Sir, Toba, the Impal East West, as the office, I do have no public buildings, later even. As a minor single labor, say, Mercy, priority period, Simulay, Sir, Karama Sakano. Jadi kita lagi bersarikan, Kongres bersarikan, orang ramai sih ini sendiri, ibu bising orang ramai sih bersarikan. Tahun ini ni, macam tu, sih macam ni kan naik berapa, sih tam kai dok berapa, kai dok tu. The second Foundation Day of Indigenous Peoples Association of Kangli Park, Ipak, was held today at its office at Kaisampat, Kaisam Lekai. Representatives of various civil society organisations and student bodies also attended at the celebration. Speaking at the event, stressed. The role of the people in protecting the traditions and culture associated with them and the territorial integrity. They also emphasize the need to strengthen the unity between the valley and the hills to bring prosperity in the state. <laughs> The High Court of Manipur has deferred the hearing of the writ petition filed by 2013 constable candidates against a fresh recruitment process till Wednesday. The court deferred the hearing of the six candidates from Churachanpur filed a caveat application seeking continuation of the fresh recruitment process. Chief Electoral Officer Manipur has published the draft electoral roll 2016-2017 today. There are total 18,7843 voters as per the draft roll. Addressing me, the person at all secretary this afternoon, Chief Sec Electoral Officer Vivek Kumar Dewangan said, the total number of voters has reduced by more than 19,000 as compared to 2015-16. The final electoral roll will be published on January 2, 2017. He further said all voters and political parties can complain against errors and they will be rectified by both level offices in a month's time. Dewangan also said the sex ratio shows 100 1,036 females per 1,000 male, which is contrary to, eight, contrary to 987 females per 1,000 males of the census report. The chief electoral officer said they are still rectifying the data by identifying voters who are listed in two different places and names of deceased voters whose names are to be taken off the final roll. He added that a full commission team of Election Commission of India will arrive on September 21 for inspection ahead of 2017 assembly elections. 20 senior IS officers from Manipur cadre who are posted in Manipur to act as electoral role observers. Each of the electoral role observer has been assigned one electoral registration officer or two electoral registration officer. Election Commission of India has done a special uh, exercise by working out demographical similar entries. Main purpose of this entire exercise or special summary revision is that the electoral role should be 
free of error and no eligible voter should be left out. That is the motto of our national electoral roll purification exercise that is being carried out. The draft photo electoral rolls 2017 of Lilong, Thawal, Wangkim, Hairok, Wangjing, Tenta, Kangabok, Wabagai, Kakching, Hianglam and Sugnu in Thawal districts were also published today. In a press release, the DC Thawal T. Ranjit said the copies of the draft publication of the photo electoral rolls 2017 are available at the offices of SDOs, EROs, Lilong, Thawal and Kakching for inspection by the general public and all concerned. Uh, police today followed an attempt by volunteers of Joint Committee on Inner Land Permit Systems, Students Wing, to storm the Manipur State Assembly, demanding introduction of a new bill to protect the indigenous people of the state. The volunteers attempted to storm the assembly around 1.30 in the afternoon. It may be mentioned that the government did not table a new draft bill to protect the indigenous people in the just-concluded monsoon session of the State Assembly. The protesters holding play cards also chanted slogans demanding a new bill to protect the indigenous people. Police personnel who were on high alert thwarted the attempt and escorted the volunteers back to Thangwaiban Watam Ledak. President of Global Peace Foundation Thokchom Dhanabir repealed to those who are against the JCILPS demand to implement ILPS in the state to come forward and voice their opinions rather than politicizing the issue. Speaking at a press meet at the foundation's office at, at Kwagatil Haino Kongnembi, Dhanabir further stated that with the railways expanding its reach to the state soon, there will be an influx of outsiders to the state. He said as they will pose a big threat to the indigenous people, all the indigenous people of the state should unite and fight for the cause. He also urged the authorities to take necessary action against those indulge in unethical practices in the 2013 police constable recruitment instead of harassing the innocent aspirants. Kenapa mood kaya lai rakusu miyam da amadi JCILP da amadi government da thokpi rak duna isang thong na mayroong yabi duna kompom siya na lepi duna kanglup kanglup sungi apa amba amasum pam daba tanah bibam thoye hai na ay mood thamsa ke atu bama tham da ha na khan duna lai kraba mai pagla ba kendra singbu makoi makoi apa amba lambi da puna na ba wana bibam thoye kana na karma mong da soi basi thokpi bano hai ba du asum marando thokpi raga aran bibam thoye singa dibu sarkar na matik sab ayngi matik na bibam thokpi sarak tu phangan biraga lanja daba thamoi siang na Jikomir leis da mai pang na ba hona jari ba isin na oksinga dubu awa ba mai ong na riba kaya asida gi manipur gomen na kan bigani ha ba kaya itaja ba itamja ke. People's Development Society PDS New Chekon today organized a financial literacy awareness program under the aegis of National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development NABARD. The program was held at Ning Thok Kong Ward Number Eight Community Center Lamlong Bazar. Speaking at the program, PDS. Chief Ex-Officer D.H. Biramangol said the program will raise awareness on how to avail loan on for development work. Time now for a short commercial break. Keep watching Impact News. Lengsen Birau, Lengsen Birau, Thangwaiban DM College Road to Laiba, Eastern Suzuki Da. Fang Biragani Suzuki Gigari Macha Singh, Makhal Suna. Mafam Sida Suzuki Da Trend Tarba Mechanic Singh Na. Ning Thi Na Service Piri Ba, Servicing Center Gi Kudong Chaba, Amasung, Spare Part Singh, MRP Red Ta Fang Birani. Loi Na Na, Irai Lai Na Loan Lowa Yaba Gi Kudong Chaba Supi Zari. Ngasi Mag Lengsen Birau, Eastern Suzuki, Thangwaiban DM College Road, Impal, Manipur. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Although there is a quota reserved for disabled persons in examinations conducted by the state government, they are facing problems due to lack of separate exam centers for them. Speaking to me, their person at Relief Center for Welfare of Differently Abled Office, Chingamaka Chakram Lokeshori, who went to appear for an interview on wheelchair for multitasking at Medical Directorate, Lumphil Paul said, she was questioned by the security for the purpose of her visit. She was asked who would take her up to the fourth floor where the interview was being held. She said she failed to appear for the interview as there were no lift or wheelchair ramp at the office and appealed to the authority concerned to make proper arrangement for disabled persons in future. 
It may be mentioned that the Persons with Disabilities Act 1995, Section 26, directs government institutions, hospital, primary health center, and medical care and rehabilitation center to have RAMs. <laughs> Mother of Lokeshwari, CH Sorojini, said there is nothing for disabled persons even though the government is announcing reservations for handicaps. She said no works has been taken up for the disabled persons by the government. She also condemned the attitude of the security personnel at the directorate office and appealed not to repeat such act in future. <laughs> College of Agriculture, COA, Central Agricultural University, CAU, Long Sufferer Contract Employees Association closed down the academic blog of CAU and stays a sit-in against termination of 21 contract staff of the institute. Speaking to media persons, Publicity, Publicity Secretary of the Association, K. Tolen Komba said the contract employees have served for an average of 10 years in the university and condemned the action of the authority. He warned of uh, intense hesitation if the authority does not revoke the order at the earliest. Hi, Riba Miwe Kunasi. Ying Paubugi Manu, the Atu Matam da Masamasagi Magi Magi Department, Ma Magi, Ma Magi Zagada, Tabo Hanzan Biu, Hanzalan Biu, Keguma Tabo Hanzalan Bida Targadi, Akwe Nasi Avenue Miss Degi, Akwegi Lady Ba, Akwegi Koles, Asida Lady Ba, Department Asida Lady Ba, Akwegi Labour. Contextual level could not talk lepa six walk strike to what. I see Muna Cactal even Muk in the Sinek, Hang Kaguma Hang Mahek Tabo and Zen Virava. A question is why strike could take away Lepen. Meanwhile, COACAU Dean JM Lystrom said an order was issued to downsize the staff of 105 to just 84. He maintained that there is also a problem in EPF using the employees in rotation. But he assured to give priority to the downsized staff when new staff will be inducted for the newly constructed hostels of the institute. I only I could extra oil labor, missing to Dania Quena, Langashi, Lotu Ibasi, say, for example, Kitchenda, Hostel, Kitchenda, me, Taru, Lady Lechen Bamari, Legado, the Taru Lechen Mugumba, was Gananda, Chaguida, Anika Legado, the Ahum Lechen Mugumba, Sumotang, Matang Lakosina, Madame Oden Tawuni. All Manipur Progressive Farmers Association and Irabot Foundation organized the month-long celebration of the 120th birth anniversary of Jananeta Hijim Irabot at three different places today. Addressing me, their person at Protection and Preservation Committee Manipur office at Wahang Bamlekai, Lamyanba Irabot Ningsing Thauram Observation Committee convener Dhana Luang said a function will be held on September 21 at Jananeta's memorial site at Mana Ching in KB Imphal East. The next function will be held on September 26 at Hairog Part 2. On September 13, a seminar on Jananeta Hizm Irabot will be held at Art and Culture Department Hall at Palace Compound. Dhana Luang appealed to all not to call for ban, blockade or strike on the days. Now, a new village has been set in Marangching, Mahuam in Tamilong District. The fourth village in Marangching will have households comprising of 30 different surnames. The village has been named 
Pan Kizang and was inaugurated on the 5th of this month. Namdunazind Gandomai has been elected chairman of the development committee, Dailong Kamai as secretary and GD Gai Puri as the pastor of the newly established village. Villagers appealed to the government to extend help for the development of the village. The chairman of DPC for direct recruitment of police constable, male civil 2013, K. Jaint Kumar, has asked the remaining candidates of Tamilong to attend the PET at MPTC tomorrow. Till yesterday, 2,158 candidates attended the physical efficiency test PET. 545 candidates from Tamilong district turned up for the PET today. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, Kada continued its academic awareness campaign on impact of drugs and alcohol in educational institutions. Yesterday, Kada held the campaign at Langmaidong Higher Secondary School in Thawal District. Speakers expressed concern at the increase in the number of drug users among the students and called for united efforts by all concerned to eradicate drugs and other narcotic substances in the state. All Manipur Working Journalist Union AMZU, in collaboration with Manipur Urban Development Agency MUDA is organizing an essay competition on the topic Housing for All 2022 on September 21 at 11 a.m. at TG Higher Secondary School. The competition will be held for Class 11 and Class 12 students in Manipuri and English. The first prize for both the categories is Rs 10,000, second prize Rs 7,000, while the third prize is Rs 5,000. Interested students can collect forms at Manipur Press Club, Major Kul. Now, the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, Donair, has gone live on e-office from yesterday. The e-office platform would not only digitize the entire office correspondence and file noting, but also ensure an audit trail of all entries and correspondence, thus providing an unprecedented level of accountability. It also migrates uh, the chain of custody from the individual to the system, allowing easy access to relevant documents at all times. Government of India and Panthobi Housing, a finance company limited, signed a memorandum of understanding under Pradhan Mantri Awaj Yojana Credit Link Subsidy Scheme, Housing for All by 2022. Chairman and Managing Director of Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited, Tokchom Hemo, said the company has started giving loan with subsidy to people. He spoke to the media on the 11th Foundation Day of the company today. Hemo said the company has become the first housing finance company in the Northeast region to get the license from housing, National Housing Bank. Entire Northeastern region of India, this our Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited is the first one. Adwita RDC actually in the true sense it is a wonderful achievement uh, state sigi. And has a kuina nungai bamaka filter is a kui ma'am in a pullaga, a kui company, Panthavi Housing Finance Company is a kuin how doksa gi hai bawani actually it is a real asset, real property, a kui state sigi a kui property mu wherebani, kui manipuri zatigi, and a kui lady with youth ma'am said in a pullaga, combine down a kui development sila kadagi. To solve maximum problem in this house that Manipur. Now, news from the world of sports. Neroka becomes the first football club from Manipur to enter the semi finals of the prestigious Duran Cup 2016. In the last league match of the club, Neroka today held the Army Red to 2 2 draw. Army Red got an early breakthrough in the first half and led in the first half. Shushil of Neroka scored an equalizer from a penalty kick in the second half. Ronald added another goal to lead 2-1 in the crucial match. However, Army Red got the equalizer from a controversial penalty kick in the last minutes of the match. Neroka did not lose in the league matches and is leading the Group B table with 9 points. Manipur Mountaineering and Trekking Association MMTA in a press release said it will organize the 77th Adventure Course from September 23 to October 7 at the MMI Complex Lamdan. Intending persons may apply at MMTA office Minithong by September 20. 
In a bid to promote entrepreneurship in the Northeast, Nigel Eastwood, a technology investor and international entrepreneur in association with Dynamic Manipur and many local partners, is organizing a charity half marathon, Run, Raise, Respond, and Northeast in Manipur on September 10 to create awareness of startup entrepreneurship in the Northeast state. Amen. ET, one of the Northeast leading telecom companies, is the key sponsor of the run. Chief Minister Okrami will be saying will flag off the half marathon from Kangla to Nambol in aid of the Northeast Development Foundation, a non profit organization. Boxer Mericom will also take part in the run. Now, in the last league match, in the league matches of the 11th Manipur State League played today, Tidim Road Athletic Union, Kwaketil beat Kaino Library and Sports Association Kaino 2 1 in the 6th league, while in the 7th league, North Imphal Sporting Association Thangwebun trounced Nambul Mapal Cultural Organization 3 0. 12 teams are taking part in the tournament organized by Old Manipur Football Association at Mapal Kangjebung. And now before we wind up, here's a quick reminder of the headlines once again. Inquiry report on Keroda's death at Rims holds a doctor's negligence responsible for her death. Supreme Court directs states and union territories to upload FIRs on their websites within 24 hours of registration. JCILPS demands special session of the Manipur Assembly by September 21 to pass the Indigenous People Bill. Kai Kangam urges people to strengthen their commitment towards motherland and strive to do something good for Manipur. And Neroka becomes the first football club for Manipur to reach the semis of Duran Cup.